Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. Uh, and that's uh, www.bowenboston.com. All right, so anyway, uh, this is uh, 18 Wayne Street in Dorchester. It's a single family. It's a huge single family property that was probably built around the turn of the century. Uh, and it's in horrible condition. I don't know if uh, this is even worth uh, saving, quite honestly. It might uh, be a teardown. I have to look at the lot size and see what the zoning is to, you know, I gotta check into that a little bit uh, more to see if it's a teardown or not. So, anyway, um, we're gonna go take a look at this property. And this is uh, the type of property that I've seen quite a bit in Dorchester and Roxbury through my career that really makes me sad. Um, this is a really uh, beautiful, was a really beautiful uh, single family property that went, you know, when it, when it was built. They, they had some big mansions around this neighborhood. You know, back, you know, again, turn of the century, this <laughs> people from uh, Boston used to go to Dorchester and use Dorchester as their summer, uh, summer residence, uh, believe it or not. So, um, all right, so you're walking in and you walk right into this, uh, I guess this huge greeting hall that had, you know, that was all uh, leaded glass. That's all gone. You walk into a nice fireplace right here. You know, I'm sure there was uh, some sort of detail up here. So this is your, uh, you know, sort of the room that you walk into. And then uh, you have your, uh, your pocket doors here, which were beautiful. And gorgeous and you walk in and here's your living room and you know I'm just showing you the floor here and all the detail all the inlays in this floor here it's all gone this is a this you know you put this house in Newton and door uh, Newton uh, Brookline or something like that it's a one and a half million dollar property you know but uh, here it's uh, unfortunately it's all beat up I'm sure they had a beautiful mantle right there on top of that fireplace and that's gone uh, here is uh, some other beautiful doors they're actually still in pretty good shape um, gorgeous gorgeous uh, you know back in the day it would have been beautiful but again uh, that's what we got here all right so uh, you know <laughs> they put a little toilet in this closet right off of the stairs I'm sure that was designed as a uh, as a coat closet when it was first built. I mean, look at this, uh, you know, this stairway here with all of the, uh, you know, the, the nice little detail here. And uh, of course, most of the detail that was originally in this property is now gone. This was built with gas, um, gas, uh, gas lanterns throughout the house. I'll show you that up in the uh, attic. Here's another flat fireplace in the dining room. That mantle is gone. Somebody, uh, and look at these floors, they're all, they're all screwed up. All right, I should, I should speed up here because, oh, here's the other side of those doors here from that living room. This uh, is coming into the dining room here. You know, the, everything is just screwed up. All right, but anyway, I should, uh, this is your side door here that had more gla glass inlays. Uh, okay, so anyway, I, I should really, this was your pantry here. You know, when it was first built, your beautiful pantry. And this was uh, the kitchen back then. I'm sure it was much more beautiful than it is now. This is probably rehabbed in the 50s. All right, so this is your good morning staircase. We're not going to go up the staircase right now. We're going to go up the main staircase. All right, so let's take a look at this again this is I don't even know if this is going to be good for a contractor or developer because I don't know if there's any money to be made here it's just such a huge project uh, I don't know if it's going to be worth it so we're near the front of the property if you're looking at it from the street it's the front right of the property and this is uh, your front right pr uh, bedroom and you can see uh, back then the, you know the built-in uh, uh, drawers in the closet and off this bedroom at some point Maybe originally they put a little three season porch out here. You know, I don't know if that was original or not. Probably added on, but who knows. Um, and then here's a doorway to a larger bedroom. 
And this is the front left uh, of the property, another fireplace. You know, all screwed up. There's your closet for that bedroom. There weren't much for closets back then, I'll tell you that. Here's your hall closet. And we're, on the, we're going to the middle left-hand side of the property. You know, beautiful uh, uh, bullseyes. Floor is all screwed up. Probably pigeons. The window is probably left open. Here's another fireplace. And, uh, you know, here's uh, some closets over here. And again, they have those built-in drawers. Again, you go to any town like uh, Newton, Brookline, Hingham. They wouldn't have a house like this in Hingham, actually. Uh, not an old house, big old house like this. Um, they have a different type of architecture in Hingham. But anyway, uh, here's your rear bedroom, okay? Two closets in this bedroom. Um, and then we're going to go upstairs to, oh, I'm sorry. Here's the bathroom. I mean, you know, crappy bathroom. But I'm sure it was nicer. And there's your windows in the bathroom, again, with the bullseyes. So here's another closet in the hallway with drawers, more built-in drawers. Uh, all right, so let's go take a look upstairs on the third level. This is probably where the, well, what we would call an au pair now. This is probably where they slept. Here's your bedroom, your small bedroom in the rear of the property. Here's uh, the roof line. All right, so, you know, good accommodations for an au pair, and then later on when the neighborhood got poorer, I guess. Uh, you wouldn't have had uh, the au pairs up here. No, you know, couldn't have afforded an au pair. Um, but here's your, well, here's a closet in this bedroom here. And here's, your, here's an example of a, a gas uh, lantern that would have been all throughout the house, but it's uh, long gone now. And then uh, we're going to the front right-hand side of the uh, property, and, you know, this window is just wide open. You know, so hole in the roof. So this, I think this might be beyond repair, quite honestly. Uh, we're going to go take a look down in the basement. We're walking down the stairs, and then we're going to walk down the good morning staircase. If I can find it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look down here. And then uh, we'll go down to the basement, and we'll finish up this tour. All right, so we're going to go straight down. Wide open to the exterior. That was a bulkhead. All right, so there's no lights in this house. All right, we'll go to the rear of the property. This was probably where they had the coal coming in from the street, right behind the stairs. Uh, who knows what they had back here. Uh, here's an old washing machine from the 50s. <laughs> uh, not much really to see down here. Um... Let's see here. Here's your forced hot air heating system. Uh, oh, it's a, oh, here's an old bathroom that they had. See that? That's an old bathroom, an old toilet they, that they had down here, <laughs> which is pretty cool. They don't make toilets like that anymore, really. Uh, and that's it. This is the front of the property. Here's your water main. Here's your electrical system. Uh, here's your gas meter. Uh, and that's really it, okay? So... We're going to finish this up. We're going to head outside. But anyway, yeah, this uh, property makes me really sad because if these people just took care of this property for a hundred years, you know, this would be a property. I mean, look at this door. It's a one and a half inch original door. You know, this property could be worth millions of dollars. That's a two inch door right there. That's your main door, two inch oak door. So, that's it. All right, any questions? Uh, this is 18 Wayne Street in Dorchester. It's a one-way street headed out to uh, Blue Hill Avenue. Uh, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate, LLC. You can reach me uh, uh, at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. Again, that's uh, www.bowenboston.com. All right, take care. Bye-bye.